again in the workshop today and these are the radiator covers that we spoke about briefly yesterday mm. I'm just enjoying a nice black coffee with some honey in it just to lift up the afternoon energy levels a little bit because it tend to just flag a wee bit about three four o'clock generally because you start thinking about beer but I'm going to get these radiator covers finished today or at least as far as possible so we were going to make the covers out of reclaimed timber from pallets, pallet wood essentially but as I was splitting the pallet wood you'll notice that A. this is a lot wider than a pallet so I would have had to join I would have had to join two pieces kind of end on which that would have left me with a central beam running up which wouldn't look too bad quite frankly but it was a lot of McFaffin so I decided to quit on that front and go across to the wood yard in Ranskill and pick up uh, well we spent 177 pounds on timber but we got 36 lengths of timber to make these uh, radiator covers at something like £1.50 a length and then I picked up some more 18mm plywood and also some cladding for downstairs we're going to timber clad half of the room downstairs you know panelling on the wall just waist height kind of thing so that's what we're doing with that bit these are done I'm not going to do much more to them than what you see here basically that's the view from the back of it but uh, it looks like pallet wood it looks like a pallet now I've put it together the only reason I'm not going to finish this is the timber that we picked up because it was so cheap for it's a big piece of timber you know it's almost a 4x1 for 150 for a 2 meter length it's green it's quite green there's a lot of moisture in the timber so what I don't want to do is spend time and energy sanding this back and then of course when we put it in the unit and the heat gets to it and it starts to dry all the grain is going to start to come and pucker to the surface again we'll have to sand it again so now I've built them I'll go and put them indoors and we will let nature take its course and maybe next week or the week after we'll come back to these once they're dry we'll finish them maybe shabby chic them up a little bit I don't know and then fix them in place but another job ticked off the list.
was a day's work. Jesus, what a day. So, this panelling was off the cuff this morning. We decided we wanted to put something different down here against this wall, so that's exactly what we've done. And I've done the radiator covers upstairs. We've got the cages for some of the LED filament lights. In fact, I'll take you off the tripod, and before I go home, I'll give you a quick run around what we've actually achieved today. So as I said, here is all of the panelling, one of the radiator covers that we've got, a little bit more timber panelling for the wall. We're going to have like a little shelf on here, about as wide as the top of that radiator cover, for you to just stick your pint on. Uh, Stuart and Kami have been painting the walls, so we're getting a little bit closer. The chimney breast is going to be a different colour altogether. We've got this wall painted, and as we go up the stairs, you'll notice there's a frame in that little alcove section there. So we've been to Dave's, I didn't take the camera so I missed out on the footage, and we've put a piece of glass. There's a piece of toughened glass in here, and on the back of it we're gonna have like, gin parlor or whatever written on the back, because this is where all Stuart's gin bottles are gonna be lined up on this particular piece of glass. And of course you'll see straight through it from the other side, so you'll be able to see all the gins on the other side. Looking at these lights, they're not as bright as everyone making out, you know. And I've lifted them out the hour line a little bit. We've got these wire cages, which I think look pretty snazzy if I'm honest. They don't look too bad at all. Yes, granted, it is bright. Let's see if we can just play about with the settings here a little bit. How's that look? That's not bad, is it? So yeah, I'll probably use that for my thumbnail. <laughs> and then across here, another radiator cover against that wall. Stuart's got the paint on there. I need to repoint that little brick section that I've done with the plaster. And another radiator cover there. So we'll Sort of made a feature out of the radiators instead of them being an unsightly mess. This is still sat on the floor, waiting to go up on the piano wall. That's going to go on that wall there, once we get around to it. And, yeah, not really done much in the kitchen. We've still got the fridge and all the rest of the equipment is in the brewery waiting to be cleaned. We've got to get up here and clean all this extractor. If anyone knows where I can get one, two, three, four, five of these extractor uh, inserts, they are 450 millimeter square, I believe. I'd be very, very grateful. There's the sink, plumbed in and now functional, which we did a couple of weeks ago. This is the sink behind the bar. It's gonna have to be plumbed in and trimmed. We're going to put a timber trim on this edge. I just recycled some old worktop. No one's going to see it behind here once we've got the fridge up at the side. And uh, yeah, we've not really advanced much more with the drip tray and the taps. I've still not put the varnish on here, but I thought there's no point varnishing this until I've got all of the bar in. I like that piece of glass there. It, you can see the reflection of the doors and everything in it. I think that's a good feature. So it's a real freaking mess in here, but the good thing about it is we are slowly advancing. I feel like we've made a little bit of progress now. Now I've got these radiator covers in, all we have to worry about up here essentially is finishing off the decorating and getting some furniture up here and getting that in place shouldn't be too difficult and then as we evolve over the coming months if there's anything that we don't like we can change it out i want to build some big steel stools for these tables but i don't have the time so i think we're probably going to pay a visit to ikea and get some bar stools timber bar stools flat pack you know probably 25 30 quid each chuck them in for now and they should get us out of a wee pickle. Same with the seating outside. I'm gonna buy some cheap benches, I think, just for now, and then next year we'll upgrade them when we've got the cash and the time. So that's it, there's a Friday edition, folks. I'm gonna wrap it up now. 
Uh, we've made a real big push on the Patreon page. It's been great. Everybody's support there is allowing me to do this because I don't take a wage from this. All of my revenue basically comes from the support from you guys on YouTube and YouTube uh, itself, and of course, Patreon. So that's really a good thing. If you want to help out a little bit more, share the video with somebody else, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. This all gives uh, the channel a big push forwards, and I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. So uh, that's enough from me today, and we'll see you with any luck tomorrow.